The journey begins. A bold leap into the unknown, the most distant human-made object ever launched is NASA's legendary Voyager 1 spacecraft. This remarkable machine has achieved something once thought to be impossible it has ventured all the way into interstellar space. Just imagine. A spacecraft launched nearly 45 years ago is still out there, continuing to send back valuable information to Earth. It's operating far beyond the limits of its original mission exploring regions of space that weren't even on the radar when it first left our planet. This is not just a feat of engineering, it's a symbol of human determination and scientific curiosity. What makes this mission even more astonishing is the technology Voyager 1 uses to operate. The spacecraft is still communicating with Earth, using systems that are older than a cassette player technology that predates the modern computer era. And yet, despite its outdated hardware and the enormous distance it has traveled billions of miles away from Earth it continues to function, defying the odds. And just recently, Voyager 1 made a new discovery one so surprising and significant that it sent ripples through the scientific community. People around the world are once again turning their eyes to the stars, wondering what this little spacecraft has found. What could Voyager 1 have uncovered out in the dark, silent stretches of interstellar space? And how could this affect our understanding of the universe and of our own place within it? To understand this incredible mission, we must go back to a key moment in history. It was the early 1970s, and scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory were working on something extraordinary. Gary Flandro, a visionary aerospace engineer, was analyzing the movements of the outer planets when he made a startling discovery. Using little more than a pencil, a slide rule, and an incredible understanding of orbital mechanics, he found that in the late 1970s, something rare would happen. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would align in a unique cosmic configuration one that happens only once every 176 years. This alignment would allow a spacecraft to use the gravitational pull of each planet to slingshot itself forward in space. It would be like swinging from one planet to the next using their gravity to gain speed and reach unimaginable distances in record time. What would normally take a spacecraft 30 years to achieve could now be done in just 12. Faced with this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, NASA acted fast. With just a short window available to take advantage of the alignment, they designed and launched two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The twin probes were launched just 15 days apart in the summer of 1977. Their goal? To explore the outer planets and, hopefully, to keep going even further. At the time, no one could have predicted just how far these robotic explorers would go, or how much they would teach us. Although the mission was originally intended to last just four years, the Voyager spacecraft have continued to operate for more than four decades. They have sent back stunning close-up images of Jupiter and Saturn and their many moons. These pictures revealed active volcanoes, swirling storm systems, massive ice fields, and otherworldly landscapes things no one had ever seen before. Voyager 2 went even further. In 1986, it became the first spacecraft to visit Uranus. Then, in 1989, it reached Neptune. Each new planetary encounter brought unexpected surprises and fascinating data, further igniting the world's fascination with the mysteries of space. Into the unknown, pushing beyond the solar system today, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 remain the farthest human-made objects ever sent into space. Voyager 1 has now journeyed over 14.8 billion kilometers from Earth, traveling well beyond the Sun's influence and venturing into the mysterious realm of interstellar space. Though roughly the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, these spacecraft carry not only advanced scientific instruments but also the collective hopes and curiosity of humanity representing a monumental achievement in exploration. Their path wasn't easy. Both probes had to safely navigate the treacherous asteroid belt long feared to be too dangerous for spacecraft yet they passed through with remarkable success. The ingenious use of gravity assist maneuvers around Jupiter and Saturn boosted their speeds, catapulting them farther into the solar system without consuming additional fuel. These maneuvers, like cosmic slingshots, allowed the Voyagers to reach their distant targets much faster than traditional propulsion methods could. With only 69 kilobytes of onboard memory less than the size of a simple text file, 
the Voyagers operated with limited but highly efficient autonomy, collecting and managing data during their long journey. Information was stored on magnetic tape recorders, similar to those used in early cassette players, then transmitted back to Earth using a mere 23-watt transmitter, roughly equivalent to the power of a household light bulb. The probes used large 12-foot diameter dish antennas to send these faint signals across billions of kilometers, where it now takes over 18 hours for messages to travel one way. Despite growing interference from Earth's increasing radio noise from cell phones, televisions, and satellite transmissions NASA's deep space network has maintained a steady link to the spacecraft. This global network of enormous antennas captures even the faintest signals, allowing scientists to continue receiving invaluable data. As Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 journeyed beyond the outer planets, they approached the heliopause the outer boundary of the Sun's protective magnetic bubble known as the heliosphere. Beyond this boundary lies true interstellar space, where the influence of other stars and galactic phenomena dominates. Scientists expected this crossing to be marked by clear signs. A sharp increase in cosmic rays, high energy particles from distant cosmic events, and a notable change in the direction and intensity of the magnetic field. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 officially crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space and confirming this milestone by detecting a sharp rise in plasma density the density of charged particles in space. Unexpectedly, the direction of the magnetic field did not change as anticipated, surprising scientists and opening new questions about the complex transition between solar and interstellar environments. This finding challenged previous assumptions and sparked ongoing research into the nature of this invisible boundary. Beyond their scientific instruments, the Voyager spacecraft carry a symbolic payload the Golden Record a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc containing greetings from Earth, music from many cultures, natural sounds, and images depicting humanity and life on our planet. This message in a bottle was designed to communicate the story of Earth to any intelligent extraterrestrial life that might one day discover these spacecraft drifting silently through space. The Voyager mission transcends technology and science. It is a testament to human curiosity, perseverance, and the desire to explore the unknown. Decades after launch, the spacecraft still send valuable data that deepen our understanding of the interstellar medium the space between stars and push the boundaries of human knowledge. Though their power sources will eventually dwindle and communication will cease, their journey will continue indefinitely, silently voyaging among the stars. They will carry our story and spirit far beyond what any human has yet reached, reminding us that our reach often exceeds our grasp and that even the smallest efforts can echo across.